so what is manifesting and how to easily get what you want from a person who has manifested more than 50 items in just 2 years Hey guys, my name is Meeda, aka Dad C I, and this uh, creative human loves making vlogs and documents her life, and loves to speak about self development and productivity. So, if that is something that interests you, then please hit that subscribe button and follow me on my Insta. And let's start with this video. So it all started in 2021 where I found this term manifestation and I've already made a video as how everything on my vision board suddenly came true and from there I kind of delved into manifestation and what is manifestation I searched on the internet I kind of researched my part and I found out there is a lot of bs on the internet and that is what is confusing a lot of people so people think this is some woo woo stuff and believe me guys when I I genuinely didn't understand manifestation at that point in 2021 or 2020 also. I was like, "Ye thodi hota hai. This is BS. This is weird thing which people were doing." And like, if you have seen law of attraction type videos, he raise your frequency, write your uh, aspiration 333 times, uh, drink moon water and buy this crystal. And I was like, "Ki, I don't want to do." these kind of thing that was too weird for me and again i'm not shaming the people who are doing it it's just not something that i'm into it and i won't be speaking about all those things at all in my channel because that is not something that i resonate with i just want to clear what is manifesting and how do you achieve it by simplifying the entire concept like you are my 5 year old cousin and i'm teaching like an elder sister ki hey this is manifestation and this is how you make your life 10000 million times better are you ready By the way I have made notes and if in case you haven't checked my previous video you can do that and then you can watch this video or you can do it in reverse also it doesn't matter it's not related but in this video I will just be saying a Q&A type format as to what is manifestation and how to easily get what you want but this is going to be a series because multiple people have come up to me in Excelera itself and said that Meeda you are very weird in manifestation like you actually do manifest like you can manifest how do you do that so I think I can teach you guys that is why i'm making this video it's very simple guys it's it's not some creepy stuff it's pure science and i can teach you how to shift your mind to attract what you want and that is why i thought of making this series and hopefully will be able to simplify this concept a lot because no one i won't say no one but very few people are actually talking about this now before knowing what manifestation is you need to know what it is not so it is not astrology it is not tarot cards it is not crystal it is not some weird technique which people talk about like 333 technique 679321 technique i don't know some weird things uh, some random totka which a lot of indians try out like putting a bay leaf under your pillow and suddenly you will become rich and this is also not law of attraction because law of attraction tells that you need to be at a certain frequency to attract another frequency this and that you don't need to over complicate stuff which is very simple okay like legit i'm telling you you are not required to know anything or drink moon water buy that crystal buy that course do this do that kuch nahi karna padta hai only you need to think in a certain way and i think that is like very simple and very easy if you want to just get what you want So I think उतना effort तुम दे सकते हो, right? So keep on watching this video. Now coming to the main question, what is manifesting? So in layman term, to get what you want or to attract what you want in your life by using your mind is manifesting. That means turning a goal into a reality is manifesting, not really by effort to be honest, but through your mind. So you want to manifest money? Yes, possible. You want to get that car? also possible you want to marry or i don't know boyfriend girlfriend have babies live in a cottage possible you want a corporate job possible you want that car yes also possible so it is said that anything that you can think with your conscious mind like any form of desire any form of wish is possible if and only if you correctly manifest it So how does this work? Now this part is thoda sa complicated, and I'm not including it in this video because again I'm assuming you are a five-year-old kid. How will you understand quantum physics? Okay, but 
but basically if you read books and you search enough on the internet you will find out but it's too complicated i mean how does it matter kaise ho raha hai if you are getting what you want just follow the techniques and you will get what you want and you don't really have to be a guru and you know into spirituality and all those stuff but i mean if you are interested you can find that out or i can make more videos but it's not really needed to actually manifest but again since you are that 5 year old let me explain to you like so your life is like an algorithm think like instagram theek okay? hai the contents which you are liking and the contents which you are seeing the reels where you are commenting saving instagram will recommend more such reels to you and little by little that particular type of content will engulf your entire feed now think of it like your real life the thing which you want if you consciously think about it you are basically liking commenting saving it so your life will throw more such things to you and little by little your entire life will be filled with that kind of thing now this is scary because it can be both positive as well as negative just like instagram Now you must be wondering who can manifest. Can I manifest? Can I get what I want? Anyone who has a mind can manifest. So basically, every single human being on this planet Earth can manifest. And before delving into this topic, one very important thing which you should know about consciously manifesting, and it's a bit scary, is that you have been manifesting since the day that you were born. So there is this law which states that you have been manifesting since the day that you were born, and you have been manifesting ever since. Because again, you only require a mind to manifest, and I think you were born with a brain. So you have been manifesting again since the day that you were born. After hearing and researching about this law, I had two reactions. First, I was shit scared because I was like, "What do you mean? What do you mean there is no karma? What do you mean there is no destiny? Hatho ki lakiri and astrology and stuff." you mean that i am responsible for everything that has been happening in my life and will happen in my life i mean that is scary bro like what if i manifest some negative stuff and that also means the all the negative stuff which has happened in my life somewhere or the other i and my mind was responsible for it so at that point i was very scared but little by little when i got to know about the subject it made me kind of feel powerful that okay before i was unconsciously manifesting because i i didn't know about this theek okay? hai but right now i can make my mind work in a way that i will only manifest good shit good stuff things which i really really want and not some negative weird thing which is there i i don't want it and believe me it has changed my life ever since now coming to the actual question how do you actually manifest because meeda i have a lot of wishes in my life I want to get rich. I want that one million dollar. I want that car. I want that girl. I want that boy. I want A B C X Y Z. But that doesn't happen because I don't know. It it just doesn't happen in my life. So how do you get what you want? This is the question which obviously will be in your mind. Now you need to understand this. What you wish for or what you desire is from your conscious mind, the mind which controls your five senses. So you see a materialistic thing, and you will be like, "Yeah, it's good to have a BMW. You know, it's good to get a YouTube button. Whatever you see, whatever you want, the wish, the desire is in your conscious mind. Just because it is something that you wish, it will not come true. You need to change that conscious thought into an subconscious belief. Now, uh, yahan se it becomes thoda sa complicated, but I will still try to explain you. because i know you are a 5 year old kid so you need to basically make a belief in your mind saturate your subconscious mind so that your subconscious mind believes that something which is not there in your life is there in your life yes i i i will make another video about this because this is pretty complicated but moral of the story is delulu is the cellulu theek hai not it, it's a very simplified and weird way to explain but yes you need to tell your mind that something which you want something that will happen in future is already happening and because it is already happening your mind will be like okay we will get that for you and that thing will automatically be attracted in your life understand that point that you need to saturate your subconscious mind with the same positive thought that you already have it you already have it now meeda how do you actually saturate your mind there are four techniques and four techniques only 
and you can select any technique which you want it does not matter it actually depends on person to person because you know every person is different and the way you saturate your mind can also vary it's not ki koi ek technique is better than the other uh, so you can select whichever one you like but you need to put in the effort theek hai here few people can come and argue with me stating that no there are more techniques there are more ways there is this 333 method there is this this that tarot theek hai i don't want to know about this because again i want it as simplified as it can be i don't want to drink that moon water or it, it's fine just four techniques first affirming telling yourself you know affirmations why am i explaining okay no you are a five year old i need to explain uh, affirming is basically telling that you have it i am a youtuber i am married to xyz even though i'm not really manifesting it's it's just an example guys i am rich i have a bmw Yeah, I got my dream apartment. Even though nothing like that is happening in your life, but you need to repeat and repeat and repeat to the point that your mind actually thinks that it is the truth. So this is affirming. So the second thing is visualization, and this is for people who have pictographic memory or good at creating images in your mind. So this is something which I do. I also do affirming. So a mix of both. Ah, uh, so visualization is basically you seeing in your mind in first person. so it's like you're seeing your hand it's like a video game like literally the way you see your hand where you're not seeing your face but your body and your hand that way and create the scene which is happening so if it is like buying a new house you're seeing your hand you're opening the key you're seeing your apartment stuff like that or for me what i used to visualize is me carrying a suitcase and i'm looking up excel ai yeah i got into excel ai that is something i used to visualize day in and day out i'm entering excel ai like a gate i went to the internet found out excel ai jamshedpur ka picture google image me and i because again i had a creative mind i used to imagine the scene where i used to enter that gate with the suitcase it's like i am in and also there are a few details about how i visualized it and all but that would be for a later video so second is visualization third thing is scripting people who love writing and put in the effort that is for you i am not that person i hate putting extra effort people can just write that this is my reality i am a rich person now i have this much in my bank account i have that car i have that house i have this i have that i'm married to this person i have 24 babies whatever you want i mean you can just write and again by repeating you are helping your conscious mind to make your subconscious mind believe that it is true and lastly there is a new technique called robotic saying where it's basically a kind of affirmation but you are basically telling it like a mantra theek hai you are not thinking about it you are not feeling anything you are just randomly saying so basically if i am listening to a song and i'm just randomly repeating one like a mantra you know you are just repeating 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 the same sentence here you cannot change the sentence it's like i'm rich 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 that that that's it you are not supposed to alter or use different kind of affirmation so you cannot say i am rich i am abundant i have uh, this much in my account you are not supposed to say that you just need to select one and continuously repeat it so these are the four main techniques you can say and again we can make separate videos about it explaining how to do each and every technique but i think there are plenty of videos on the internet which can help you you don't require my separate video to understand this I have spoken a lot with the fan off because you know I don't have a microphone and I'm sweating like anything because it's freaking hot in Kolkata but just last few tips or techniques not techniques I would say things which you should remember before delving into this is it works on assumption so if you don't like as i said i don't like law of attraction you can search about law of assumption it's again how do you make an assumption a belief how do you make a believe that you are already rich or how do you believe make your mind believe that you already got into that your dream job dream girl whatever you want so basically this can be used for anything and everything in life okay i'm i'm trying to think about the weirdest thing you want to get a story book you want to get a coffee you want to marry a certain person you want to basically do anything and everything you can use this the law that's it the law of assumption the way that you assume certain things brings that reality into your life again i think i'm complicating it yes i am complicating it but i will try to make 
more video so that it simplifies because see it's a very vast subject and i cannot tell every single theory and every single tips about manifesting in one video this was just the basic of it and i think you can use this to improve your life to the point that you are able to help others that's what i've been doing and it's not that complicated guys it's just the way you need to change your mind you need to change the way that you're thinking you need to change your mindset that's it. that's the underlying layer you need to change your thought process you need to be in a mental diet you need to basically think about that stuff in a positive manner and your subconscious mind doesn't have eyes your conscious mind has the eyes okay so basically whatever you feed into this will be your reality so this is like a printer whatever you put in that would be your reality that would be the output you put in garbage you put in junk which i have done and i learned my lesson in 2021 and then i was like okay shit i am doing this completely wrong that is why all the negative things is manifesting in my life that was the year thank god i found manifesting and then i changed it then i flipped it so you can do it too and i can share my personal stories but i think it's too personal so i will think about it not a promise the final thing is manifesting is an assumption as i said it's a belief it's an input output it's basically correlated as to what you're thinking so if you're thinking that you can manifest you will be able to manifest and if you are someone who doesn't believe manifestation who doesn't understand this topic and think oh this is magic this is bullshit this is i don't know what you are thinking but if you are like manifesting ho nahi sakta but i will try you know i will just give it a shot let let me see but i don't think this works so guess what it won't work for you because you just put in that thought that it's not going to work for you it's it's as simple as that theek hai it's is basically like whatever you're feeding in your mind that will happen again multiple aspects of it that there is no time limit there are different realities and that's like the complicated part of it so you don't need to know that you just need to know whatever you are thinking will be your reality one day or the other if and only if you are disciplined enough to put in that effort to think in that certain way if you are thinking in a negative manner then the negative thing will be your reality and if you are thinking in a positive manner that would be your reality now if you don't believe me don't i don't really care because i know it works it has worked for me it has worked for 10 million people out there who is talking about this stuff yes everyone is using different words some are using spirituality some are using law of attraction some are using law of assumption some are using tarot card astrology spirituality quantum physics kuch i mean you can name it and i have seen this reel where the lady was very true she was saying everyone is talking about it but no one is denying it because this is the universal law even if you read sacred books of hinduism about christianity about every single religion and think of it as manifestation it's there it's straight there i i know this because i've done my research and i've read certain paragraphs of some very ancient books and it all says there it doesn't matter whether you believe or not it it is the law of universe and it is what happens again don't want to over complicate stuff i mean try it yourself you think about a very simple thing like seeing a butterfly seeing a rainbow getting a candy getting a flower very simple stuff which can happen like this you think for a few days and let me know what happens and i will see you around till then hit the subscribe button follow me on insta and i'll see you guys in my next vlog till then bye